So good morning. I am Dr. Atmaram Pawar, presenting here a proposal under AICT UK scheme that is effective knowledge delivery by improving attendance and promoting interactive teaching. In the first videos, we have seen regarding the interactive teaching how it is helpful for the knowledge delivery. Now in this video, we will see the, how the problem based examinations can be conducted to check the knowledge, to check the concept or our, uh, whether our examination is just memory based. If our examinations have the questions like define, discuss, classify, definitely things will be memory based. So this is the, the concept that we have all these internal examinations, university examinations, but we have many questions like a define, classify, explain, these are majority memory based. The content is already even in the book, the students read it for one day and write in the examinations. Or in other way, we have the descriptive questions or the essay based questions like you account on a tablets. The students write two to three pages very nicely. Even they have two to three diagrams without any correction, but what is the content? For example, tablet is very important in the pharmacy and there are different types of tablets. Some are coated tablets, some are uncoated tablets and tablets and tablets and tablets, but nothing will find the content in that description. So this is the, the fate of our system that we are having either given account of questions or define and classified of questions. We should have the MCQs which promote the, the memory, uh, which promote the, the logical thinking instead of memory based. And we should have the case based problem solving questions that can promote the thinking. Therefore, the students will get passed with the good marks at that same time they will be a lifelong learner also. Otherwise it is a routine practice. So in the examination that one friend says that bhai bas ek word pehla word bata de do baaki paper mai sambhalunga. So, bhai bhi ek word deta hai do. Kya ho gaya? So what is happening here? The happening is the students are coming with the recitation and memory base and if we give the link of one word so they are writing two pages but what is the knowledge delivery? Therefore, if we promote the case based questions, definitely the student have to attend the class because this is the above and behind the, the books, what is the written behind the lines. Therefore, the case based problem solving examinations needed not only to improve the knowledge delivery but to improve the attendance also. So, these are the some examples I am giving. Correct. So, the first chapter is a general chapter for former students why to convert drug into dosage form and typically we explain the definition of the dosage form and do two, two reasons and such questions we have that they define dosage form, classify it, use the reasons to convert drug into dosage form, what are the merits and demerits of tablet, give an account of dosage form is a bigger question, correct. So if we see again the method is the memorization only but if we are the same thing it also covers all the points. The question can be given even for 2 marks or for 10 marks if logical thinking. That is what is the question? That is why the drug is converted into dosage form, rank the answer with the thinking. Suppose some students will say that the bioavailability is the main reason. Then he have to think if the bioavailability is the main reason, then the injection or the IV injection is the base load. So whether the, all the drugs are converted directly into the injection, not, means it is not the first reason. Secondly, it may say that to improve environmental stability. So one can say the coated tablets are the base to protect the drug from the environment, but the, all the tablets are not indirect coated. Or directly, suppose some will say that is ease of manufacturing. For ease of manufacturing also, the oh, tablets are based, but then why injections prepared? Why liquids are prepared? So, so many questions they are. So, students should think which is the correct and which is the wrong. So, with the logical, he should think. So, as per me, so the first thing is always the ease of administration by that particular route. Because to treat the disease, drugs should enter into the blood circulation in the body. So, which is the base route by which that drug can be given. That is the first. Second thing is, that is the handling. Take example, usually we use the tablets, so tablets are easy to handle by the adults. 
but the same tablet is a difficult to administer to the, the pediatrics means this is the first answer that the liquids are required to administer the pediatrics and tablets though the others can swallow that liquid easily but they always prefer that it should be easy to handle in a such a way we can think take another example of dry syrup so dry syrup or a dispersible tablet why they are prepared because drug is unstable in the water one can give in the tablet form but tablet cannot be swallowed by the kids therefore we pharmacists prepare dry powders or dispersible syrups we we make in the liquid form at the time of administration the fantastic reasoning is there so this is the way of thinking we should promote the thinking instead of just explaining the reasons take another example the very simple example majority of our drugs are weak acids the few are weak bases and there is no strong acid and strong base why why it is so if really you want to think see how many concepts we teach at one point so these are the concept first the concept of pka that is the weak acids and weak bases remain as unionized and ionized form the strong acids and strong bases are only ionized they are water soluble but they will not get permeate so concept of pk is over the concept of solubility and permeation ionization we require for solubility enhancement but for permeation that molecule should be unionized at site of drug release so that it will get absorbed definitely we will get idea about the, what are the ph what is the ph of stomach what is the ph of small intestine whether my drug remains as unionized ionized there are other concept it will is the concept of safety because strong acids and strong bases are harsh they will erode our body so it is a safety concern and last it will give the complete concept of absorption it is not only absorption but it is the concept of bcs classification that is biopharmaceutical classification system means by having just one example i can teach all this concept but if i ask something then i see such questions are there that is define pk we took examples right ph values of stomach define absorption like and like if any ph question is there student directly write handles hassel this equation but they not understood what is the meaning of that again we go for some light example from cogner ce or pp or from sutex that is explain the following which is volatile substance so the peppermint oil we have the boiling point of 250 we have the clo oil boiling point of 251 water boiling point 100 and the ether boiling point 34 so which is volatile definitely people will see that last is volatile means peppermint oil and clo oil are not volatile so what is the point point is confusing point is the boiling point and third confusing point is students are not clear with the concept of boiling point always we think that the vaporization will be there after boiling no first vaporization takes place then the vapors attain the pressure which is equivalent to the atmospheric pressure and the system boils means these two oils though they have the high boiling point they have the high dissipant tendency at a room temperature only vaporization takes place but that vapors are unable to attain high pressure which is equivalent with the atmospheric pressure therefore they require more heat to create more vapors and then the system boils but before boiling point they are volatile means here except water if you consider water is standard all three are volatile but we not understand the basics of it then it is becomes very confusing there more questions i will say so my focus is instead of reading a big question student should able to find what is the problem in the question for example water sensitive drug have oral dose of 125 mg suggest two suitable dosage form for pediatric use so which is the question here the question is 125 mg the question is the pediatric or question is the water sensitive definitely question is water sensitive therefore i said that we can prepare a reconstituted syrup or dispersible tablet so that we can uh, solve this problem because patient is a pediatric and we have to give that drug in the form of liquid only but since drug is a water sensitive we cannot form a liquid so alternative is go for dispersible tablet or reconstituted suspension so therefore identify question in the question the first line 
second answer may be too small so the question is very big here but answer is too small if if we read this all answer is always small that is what is the question that dose of 10 mg and its major metabolism in the liver so suggest some non parental dosage form the question is for 7 marks so students should understand the question the question is on the first part metabolism if he understand that then the answers are many like transdermal patches suppository and sublingual tablets but here the answer is very small instead of writing 3 pages for 7 marks he can write 7 lines for 7 marks and it will give the the full the uh, answer also so questions may have two to three answers many times that we have to see also so this is the best example like how questions will have different answers so this is the pg examination of one of the university so the question during a pilot plant scale up of a tablet formulation by weight granulation process an aqueous binder solution of a particular strain added in the powder mixture gains viscosity and it becomes difficult to pour and mix with so suggest probable reasons and logical approaches to formulate the tablet so this is the question students should think it. unfortunately when i talk with the students what they written they written types of granulation weight granulation dry granulation some they written mechanism of granule formation that is solid liquid mixing pendular funicular capillary arrangement some are written various types of binders used all the things are given in the book but no nobody thought on the simple issue what is the problem here so problem here is that when that binder solution aqueous binder solution is added in the powder that solution become viscous and difficult to mix think and give the n number of logics n number of approaches and as per me this is the list of approaches then first decrease the viscosity by adding more solvents but here should be taken it will increase drying time and drying temperature one can say warming the solution can decrease the viscosity it may be possible or otherwise change the solvent or change the binder or have the effective other effective mixing technique to improve that uh, mixing property last divide the binder in the dry mixing and wet mixing make 50% binder add in the powder and make a solution of 50% binder because what is the major problem major problem is not a viscosity of that binder solution but when the binder solution is added in the powder it become viscous this is the main point and some clever student may think like that and he will say check the powder composition some powder component is dissolving the binder solution and it is increasing viscosity he can suggest check that it may be simple sugar which is present as a diluent it is increasing viscosity so these are the different approaches or finally one can say one can use a directly compressible filler binders so here more is a thinking more is the application of what you studied because student is a pg m farm student he already know all these concepts again in the m farm he is writing the information what is given in the book but is not thinking on the lines what is expected and it is a industrial problem it can be solved if the students start thinking take another case this is the viva is going on and teacher is asking the student suppose you are traveling by a train and you are feeling hot what you will do the student replied that i will open a window then teacher said that okay if you are opening the window then the window area is 1.5 square meters then the volume of coach is 12 cubic meters the speed of train is 80 kilometers per hour velocity of air is 5 meter per second definitely by reading all this he said in how much time the coach will get cool no problem is difficult and resulted is the student get failed now routinely think the students ask the another student what is the question asked by the teacher correct when the another student got the idea that the, this question is there so teacher asked suppose you are traveling by train and you are feeling hot what you will do so the student said that i will remove my coat and if you are feeling more hot i will remove my 
बनियन शर्ट ऑल बट इफ यू अगेन फील हॉट सर आई विल डाय बट आई विल नॉट ओपन दैट विंडो सो वॉट इज है happening is the thing is that we are making the paper hard difficult to solve this should not be aim of interactive teaching this should not be aim of knowledge delivery so question should promote understanding the question should promote thinking ability this is more important therefore nowadays the fail term should be replaced by you can do better give the chance to the student to think he have a standard examination standard Give the chance to the student to think and have such examination instead of memory-based examinations. And last point for the pharmacy students: the GPAT examinations and university examinations. Both are same or different? Many of you say these are the different. It is not different at all. What is the problem in the GPAT examination, competitive examination? There are case-based papers, case-based questions, and we have the habit of memorization. How many topics you will memorize? There is statistics, chemistry, cognitive psychology, regulation, each and every chapter. It is very difficult to memorize. But from day one, from first year, if we clear the concepts, then definitely you can solve the GPAT paper easily. Otherwise, we find before GPAT examination, always many people take a bunk. They are not attending the college because they needed time for memorization. so we should replace these systems then the regular attendance in the class can be only solution for gpat examination also so this is the my experience and this is the survey output what little survey i conducted so majority of students say that the interactive teaching is the only solution to promote our success in the gpat examinations what should the strategy to implement this i am not saying that in the first year only 100 paper 100% paper should be problem solved no in the first year we should have a 10 to 20% logical thinking questions as the students grow in the second year increase slightly in the fourth year final year we should have the, the 40 to 50% the logical thinking based questions and the remaining questions should be routine questions because many students are weak they will memorize the things but number of students will be happy to understand the concept and to solve this questions and if the things go well then one day the indian universities can conduct open book examination because the things directly not asked in the question but the things are based on the understanding so in this way i am with you and this is my the personal initiative for our education system and under ukri system eict scheme i am taking this project i am also doing the survey so i will give you that survey link and also see these two videos and support to change the system of education and to develop the good human resource in the india thank you once again